Just before Christmas, your computer has crashed. What have you done? How do you get the files out? Welcome to another episode of Your Technology Questions Answered Weekly. I am the host, D. Smith, a.k.a. Z-Axis, and guess what? Yes, that's me trying to rhyme, and I'm not trying to sing. I won't sing because you'll just probably have your ears bleed out. So, here are a few things we need to get through. One, I now have a brand new web application that you can use on any HTML5 capable phone, which means you can use it on an iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad, Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone 7, Samsung and Nokia devices included, as well as all the other devices in history that are now using HTML5. By the way, this will be important for what I have next to say. You can also use it as an add-on in Google Chrome in your favorite operating system. So just pay attention to that. For those running an Android phone, tqaweekly.com slash Android brings you directly to the application. Now, if you want to use the web app, tqaweekly.com, when you load into the website, we'll ask you automatically if you are HTML5 capable, if you want to use our web application, which you can then install to the home screen of your favorite HTML5 capable device. Why do I have an application? So besides being able to follow my fan page, Twitter page, be able to watch on YouTube and listen to our new version of and new episodes of TQA Weekly. There is something known as the inbox, which will give you all the latest messages directly from me and the secret contest, which is nothing more than a similar hijacked version of Where's Waldo. But guess what? Where's Waldo was inside a book. He was stuck on a page static in space. I have upgraded the game, people. As of January 8th, 2012, all you have to do is watch, not listen, watch the video on the screen at some point in one of the any of the four episodes every single month until September, you will have a five second hint on the screen so that it is four episodes every single month, unless some sort of variation. Five seconds of that video will have the hint on the screen. A hundred and fifty frames. So that means if you can find a hint in the correct video, in the next six days after that video was published, which is normally 8 a.m. Sunday every week except for the next two, you have the potential of participating in the contest. So once you found the hint and got the mobile application, all you have to do is wait for the message under the secret contest tab. Now if the phone has a small screen, it will be written secret with a magnifying glass. Now once you get the hint from the video, which will tell you if I'm hiding within a chat or a game by giving as part of the hint the name of the game or the name of the chat site, you will have to find me within the server using the hint I will give you by the message in the allocated time limit, so anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. If you find me in a video game and you're the first to open trade with me and answer correctly the mathematical equation, I will give you either TQA Weekly gear and apparel or in-game prizes of currency and digital goods within that game. If you find me within a live chat, you're going to be getting TQA Weekly gear and apparel and only if you actually chat me first and answer the mathematical equation correctly of course just so we get through all the privacy policy stuff all the information about this is available at tqaweekly.com under the about tab and please select the link about our contests just so we know if you participate this means you're willing to allow me to post your first name and location as part of the winners list of course, don't forget to give me your mailing address, otherwise you can't get your prize if I'm giving you TQA Weekly gear and apparel. 
So let's get to the actual point. Just before Christmas, you screwed your computer. You're trying to get files off of it and you don't want to worry about anything. So why am I talking about this? Well, it just happened to somebody I know. So we might as well deal with the issue. This is how we're going to do it. Unless you fried your computer's hard drive, which is not my problem anymore, or you have a laptop with the trusted platform module, which means it encrypts the hard drive, which means don't take it out of the computer, you have to leave it in there, or if you use TrueCrypt to encrypt your operating system, which would screw you over a bit, or if you use Windows 7 with the security feature that allows every hacker to get into your operating system except yourself which means you'd have to turn off that security feature, this wouldn't work. But luckily for most people, most people don't even bother encrypting their hard drives. In some cases, you may have a TPM inside your laptop and it's not even turned on, so you'd be safe there. You would be able to remove the hard drive, although I will get a little bit into the fact that you can still use the TPM to your advantage. And of course, if you're using Windows 7, use the recovery disk to load enough of the operating system so you can turn the security feature off. Of course, that always works. That's a little bit more complicated and you have to go to a Microsoft site for the information. But let's just deal with the basics. Most people can use my trick without having to worry about anything. So, this is how it works. Unless you screwed your hard drive, use Windows 7 with the security feature, have a TPM and remove the hard drive from that computer, or encrypt your hard drive, this will work very easily. So, how about we get to the demo? Now, for this demonstration, I will just explain a few details about the computer that I'm currently running on. The computer is running a Windows XP version with Service Pack 3, completely updated all to date. So that will give you an idea of why the file system is the way it is. It has Ubuntu installed in dual boot using the Windows installer, not the live disk. It is actually a lot easier to install in this way. This type of installation is virtually impossible in Windows 7 unless you turn off the security feature that prevents other operating systems from loading before Windows 7. Obviously, it is great to have that kind of security, but it will play against you if you need to recover a file. And I will show you basically two tricks that will help you. One is using the hard drive within the computer and the other through a USB connection. So pay attention, this will be fast. Starting with the home folder icon in the Unity toolbar, which has been redone. You go in, you look up file system. If you install it as part of Windows, you click the host folder and there's your Windows. Most of your documents will be under documents and setting. Click your username and all the information you'll need is right there. Now, typically in most Linuxes, you would have to mount the drive. In this case, you don't have to. Mounting is automatic, which is very, very convenient, but very dangerous. So just keep in mind to stay safe. Don't install anything that you don't trust. So using a jump drive, I will simulate the mounting. And it loads up the jump drive. Obviously, I make the demo look easy, and best of all, it is easy to actually do all this. So here are a few guiding pointers to you. If you want to make your life extremely easy, once you're finished listening, subscribing, sharing, and liking this episode, please head over to Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U dot com. Install, as long as you're within Windows, the Windows installed version of Ubuntu and just run it. I know it's going to be geeky. It's going to look geeky, but you know what? You're going to be the last one laughing at everybody when your Windows crashes and you don't even break a sweat saying, you know what? Doesn't even matter. Load Ubuntu, get my files, recover the partition, click, click. And best of all, you don't lose anything. You don't lose any sleep. You don't have to worry about anything. If you need to finish work on that drive, it doesn't even matter. You can use the tools within Ubuntu to finish it. So you literally lose no time and you don't spend a cent for this trick. So go on to Ubuntu.com, 
get the software. It's absolutely free and it is worth the trouble not having any trouble later on. That is my Christmas gift to all of you. Now, if you want to get any of the information from the inbox, which is where I talk to all you people, whether you go and read it on the website or within the application, which you can also get from the same site, if you want to see our show guide of 64 episodes of TQA Weekly, get your own TQA Weekly gear and apparel. Heck, if you want to get the application, participate in a weekly survey, or just send me your stories, comments, suggestions, and or questions, tqaweekly.com. That's where you go. That's where I post everything. That's the only place you need to know about my show. All the links to every channel, YouTube, Blip.tv, iTunes, everything is posted on this particular website. That's it. That's all you need to remember. That's all you need to worry about. TKWayWeekly.com. So, happy holidays. Have a happy new year. Stay safe and online. And have a great day. Till January 8th, 2012, when I come back Sunday, 8 a.m. Goodbye. 